Conventional hand wash, unlike the Divine by Therese Kerr hand wash, contains the common nasties found in most conventional products. That is TEAs, DEAs, PEGs, glycols, paraffins, sulfates, ethoxylates, formaldehyde, formaldehyde derivatives, fragrance, synthetics and colours. In previous emails I've talked at length about triclosan, sodium laurel sulfate, fragrance, TEAs, other sulfates. Today I'll touch on the world of parabens and their impact on the human body. Parabens are also known as methylparaben, propylparaben, isoparaben, butylparaben. Parabens are a group of chemicals widely used as preservatives in the cosmetic and pharmaceutical industries. They have been linked to possible carcinogenic activity. When someone is exposed to the continued use of parabens as preservatives, the parabens are believed to have an estrogenic impact on the body. The US Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, has linked methylparabens in particular to metabolic, developmental, hormonal and neurological disorders as well as various cancers. Studies have shown that the estrogenic effect in relation to the extended use of parabens can lead to diminished muscle mass, extra fat storage and male breast growth. Scientific studies have shown that estrogen stimulates breast cancer and anything absorbed through the skin may be as high as 10 times the concentration of an oral dose. There have been no successful studies to show that repeated and prolonged use of parabens is safe. It is a low cost synthetic preservative for which many large cosmetic brands have tried to fund studies in the hope of proving that prolonged usage is safe. All studies have failed. Parabens are used in over-the-counter personal products as a preservative to extend the shelf life of the product. These chemicals can be found in face, body moisturizers, body wash, deodorants and cleansers.